all right we're back into the world of final fantasy let's see where we left off bolts from the blue speak with otto otto otto, otto. otto. drake's fang i'll be leaving before sunset you're not going in there alone are you don't worry i'm not going there to destroy the mother crystal all i'm after is kupka's head i won't risk any more than i have to i promise yes. Just coop his head. The fang. He took his arms and hung on his head. Personal fiefdom. You have any trouble on the way? You ask for Rosina Delamil. Some call her the Desert Hare. Who is she? An old associate of Sid's. And only Sid's. All I know is the name. And that they used to meet at the Delamil Inn. We've heard nothing from her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid... Might be able to bring her back into the fold. Thanks. So, uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... Don't look so worried. He'll be coming with me. Thank fuck for that. Gav, Otto, I'm leaving you two in charge. You can count on us. I can. I like these two characters. These guys are really holding down the fort. And the thing is, if we're headed to Drake's Fang, that's one of the crystals there, even though we're headed just for the Titan. I need to have a Titan fight. I want to bust his ass. We ripped off his arms, but I got to finish the job. I got to finish the job. He put his hands on Joe. All right, Two beatdowns. That'll be epic. I've been doing my best to keep on top of it all. The rest, I add. And anyone with the time and inclination just... I don't want to see none of these reports. Oh, yeah, yeah. Paperwork sounds like some kind of... You know how police have to do paperwork and they be getting tired of that? I ain't really trying to read that right now. Let's just go into the story. Yo, say get me. <laughs> this man said, yo, Big Daddy Paul. <laughs> What's up, brother? What up, Oblivion? Coco is curse needs to be an Ebo if he replays the end chain trilogy. Hell yeah. The Coco curse. All right, Uncle. I'm ready to depart. Shall we? We shall. Come, let us away to adventure. Let us away to adventure. Bomba clat. Let me keep this close because you never know what you need. Oh my god! New part on the map. This is the Velcroy Desert. They had shown us that they had traveled through here. So they escaped from this area and they ran through the desert to get to here. And instead of using this water, that's what they did to, to get Kukwa's little princess ass over here. So now, going through the desert, we have to head through Arabia and then we're going to smite him. I ain't fuck for that. The Dalmechian Republic. Every time I see this, it's like, yo, they use Namekians. The Habibi music. We have Dubai. I want to visit Dubai one time too. Apparently they shoot lasers into the desert, into the sky to create rain. They got trillionaire Saudis. Young man, when last I walked this path. Yes, Habibi. Lamb of rice gyro. <laughs> Let's go. Down to Halal Card to New York. There's an old trading post not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. I'm going to take out the Fang too, I bet you. The post it is. The trading post. Bring it to me. You already know. Damn, we got the scorpions and everything out here. Imagine y'all are stranded in the desert. Don't imagine too hard before you actually end up in some kind of situation like that, but just. Y'all think you'll be seeing mirages and stuff? How would you guys react if you guys didn't have water and you're walking through this? And all you see is like Jack 3's intro of just desert. Ayos mios. I want to go through the desert one time. Like I think Nala would. And we're talking about destinations. If you wanted to go to a spot, I'd be like, yo. I want to ride on camels and stuff. But not get my head chopped off or anything out there by breaking a rule. But I want to visit the, the pyramids just to see them once. You know what I mean? Wait, my chocobo. We unlocked this last time. Courtesy of Shadow's Guidance. We might have to try to kill a bird because we're not dying. Let's go. Many years Sprint ago, this. He's got a chocobo. A boy, you and I rode this way together, accompanying your father on a scouting expedition to Drake's Fang. He let me come with you. I'm not surprised you don't remember. It was just before Joshua was born. Really? You were so eager to be there when your brother arrived that you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home and fell from the saddle. <laughs> I shall never forget how Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, bawling like a babe. 
Mauling like a baby. Oh, they juked me. This is just a small part here. We have to walk through this. Look at this desert. Take a second and admire it. Oh, damn. Imagine you're out there. There's nothing. There's nothing over there. You have to start cutting open cactuses and stuff. Trees. Greenery. Yeah, when he's running like this, it almost looks like he has a hoodie on. Ah, there she is. The good old Dalamil in. Do you know? Nice pacing here. Give me quite a thirst. Uh, quick drink before we press on. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Yo, the locales in this game. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. The flat flat is in this game, yo. Say in gaming, my boy. That is genius. This kind of reminds me of the flood flood. The chobocos are flood floods. That is genius. That was an IQ. We might have to kill one of these chobocos for water. The moisture from the meat. I saw a video that said Egypt is the unsafest place to visit. You have to be careful. It is, yeah. I've seen some stuff like that too. Um, especially when it comes to robberies and stuff like that, and even like the immigration stuff. I want to see the pyramids just to see what people say. Like, there's a different type of... Apparently, around the pyramids, what they say... Like, I look at Billy Carson. He does a bunch of videos on YouTube and a bunch of tours. Time... And I think Joe Rogan said this, too. Because of the way they built these pyramids and the way the energy moves around there, time slows down in that spot. So, there's a whole bunch of woo hoo key crisp stuff around there. As it says, Florida comes close to imitating the heat in the desert. She, she, she right there too, especially when you're at the beach. I think it would probably be as close as that could be. I would still love to go. Hell yeah. This kind of reminds you of Dragon Quest. Yeah, it kind of does. Anubis says, I can confirm. <laughs> Togo, the goat doggo, the Super Saiyan Frost Wolf. Uh oh. Look there. This is racially Those motivated. Are steeds. No doubt about it. Hey. Such a long ride from Stone here. This is profiling. My friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? Got a Witcher vibe. Kind of reminds me of Vesemir. Run along and play now, Toggle. Dogs aren't allowed inside. You're sending my frost wolf boy. Man, every time I look at this dog, I see Herc. I like that little bracelet thing he got on his on the paw. We're going full Assassin's Creed. Let's go. I want to see Assassin's Creed Black Flag in an SEO collection remastered like this, man. We just want Assassin's Creed Final Fantasy. Plus the Witcher. Keep your boy. Man, if I was to cosplay, this is the type of fit I wear. I wear a class fit right now. This is dope. That sword, everything down to a T. That's your auditory vibes. Martha Lemayo, fetch me a drink. I need the apple of Eden. Eating? <laughs> Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. What do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. We eating the pigeons for real. And ale. Right you are. Hey, go. Coming. Your pal. Yes, you'd rather be my squire. Who's up the stairs? Always someone shady like in the Mafia movies up here. Like in Rush Hour. Junth Hao is up there. The armor. I want Clive's armor too. Trix is like, does that come with white sauce, Habibi? White sauce, hot sauce? Bamboo first, general. You tell me Josh was upstairs. In the next room. We in the same inn at the same time. No, he's got the vid. Your grace, it is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. 
No. We must press on. Prince Dion has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. You do understand that? Yes, Your Grace. But you must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. The water? Medicine? Yo, I'd be afraid if I cough blood. I've never done that in my life, but this... That would be a sight that I don't want to see. Sure thing of living. Coughing up ketchup. Yeah, he kind of looks like Roxas. Hell yeah. Assassin's Creed Black Flag. flag <laughs> Yo, <laughs> mispronunciation. Black Flag had way some of the peak gameplay. It's your story and character carried the franchise. And this poor server girl, all these games, they always got some server girl that gotta deal with these like village men that are always some dickheads. Like these guys, look at them. These are the stereotypical dickheads that we end up like slicing their heads off. They always get drunk and start some shit. Watch, they tell us. But all I see is sand. But that's usually every guy in his bar too in the neighborhood, so without any trouble. I'm used to it. Soon enough. As I don't relate to them. Lord Command. Never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. Yes, he's stupid. That'll be Cooker, then. <laughs> Are they grilling me? This down us. We have a long way to go. Hey. What's up with that accent? You. Look at this shit. Always starting shit in these bars. Hey, yo. Uncle. Sorry. It's the ADHD. <laughs> You're reaching for the sword, Uncle. Cause a scene. Uh oh. It's about to be a fight. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. Man's coughing up ketchup and you asking him if he can walk. And now she's doing what the classic nosy neighbors be doing. They be peeping through the curtains. Are you not? Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Help us find our way. Sorry, lads. But we've got business in camera that can't wait. Ah. I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Come on, come on. Friend. Look at the guy in the background. They all different. Everybody evacuated. Okay. Look at this uncle. You fuck ass. We're about to fight. He eating like Goku at the World Martial Arts Tournament. What is wrong with you? I'm afraid we don't have a moment to lose. <laughs> yes. Gladly. Look at this uncle. Yo, Clive is literally the goat. Look at this. All of them, all of them boxed up into the corner. All of them, all of them. Come here. That is perfect. Oh my god, you have Wombo combo with all these dickheads. <laughs> Stab him. Stab him. Next one. Oh, yes. Give me another one of these. Right here. Imagine the one guy that didn't leave the bar. You see that go down. <laughs> Too easy. That was perfect. That was perfect. That was beautiful. Yo. Unk is just like you, Pharaoh. This is a vibe. I'm not missing a single drop of portion. That was the perfect, perfect bar, bro. What? Kick the table to the assholes and then stomp them out with that. That was perfect. You blink and you missed it. I was volleying three of them. Good job, Uncle. We are trouble. <laughs> Word of advice, miss. That soup could do with a 
touch more salt. <laughs> Yo. Oh, that's like one waitress that deserves the tip because these assholes and these this time that's worth. Yeah, deal with these drunken idiots all the time. Where you go? Oh, it's so beautiful. The water. Look at that. Now's our chance. It's like rainbow water. <sighs> nah, man. He got the viral heart disease like Goku. Your grace? I'm fine. But we won. <laughs> the hell? Phoenix feathers glowing. Don't tell me. Drive? Does he need to be around Joshua for that ability to pop out? Like the only way for them to get that. To get Ifrit out is to combine the two. The Phoenix has to be next to him. Because every single time it's popped out, he had to be right next to Joshua. Is that why he's staying separate? Because if he's too close to him, boom. It's like the two halves of the nine tails, like a Naruto. And now the Phoenix. Feather. It's glowing. Showing me that he's close. And what he was eating here. Ever. What is it now? It's coated in blood. It's nothing. Let's go. It's gotta be that. That's why he hasn't been able to pull out the Ifrit in all these battles, because Joshua's been nowhere near it. Shrugs give him the antidote. Why she look like Casca's cousin? This looks like a nice place to visit. At least from a gaming point point of view. You know how Instagram reels be showing it? how it looks like on Instagram and how it looks like in real life? I wanna see what the real life version of this looks like. Let me just take a second and admire how good the motion capture in this game has been. The acting here has been... Oh, oh man. Well, it's alive. We didn't know where to find Kupka before. We do now. The Rawlers said it themselves. That guest is in the... The guest is in the fang. Oh, okay. We've got some desert ah, troopers. They've closed the road. And it's the only way from here to the Fang. It would seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. We have to get through that gate. Uh, not by force, I trust. By guile, then. Perhaps the Desert Hare can offer us her aid. Rosina Dalamil. But how will we find her? And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means. The wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Dalamil is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. And that's exactly what I mean to do. The person in charge of the thing. No, let's go take on the Taliban right now. I could be theirs. I could be theirs. Well, it's not like we've got a reason to. Speak with the townspeople. The gate is closed by order of Lord Kupka. Any attempt to gain passage to Drake's Fang will be punished with arrest and incarceration. You do fucking nothing. Speak with the townspeople. There's your shit. There's one of the townsfolk. Not the Taliban. <laughs> Chunks are too busy. Anything I can help you with, travelers? Allow me. <laughs> My good man, we represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets, and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. Oh, um, you wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of 
Rosina Dalamil? No. Well. No. I'll push this card over, useless. A thousand gil for a means of Why don't you come and play, handsome? Hey, yo. Where did I just walk into? Uh oh, he's trying to buy something here. Hey, yo, <laughs> the dialogue. Go right back. Was I supposed to talk to a townsperson right here? What did they? Never mind. I don't even want to know. That was the sussiest alley. What is this? This dog is starving. Torgle. <laughs> Look at Torgle's size compared to this dog. Kick the books. War, right? Straight ahead. Up here. Fucking man of the wrong. Right back to the same guy. Why do they keep telling me to talk to this guy? Famous for its spas, its markets, and smithies. Smithies. Somebody had one of those, my friend. Spas, markets, and smithies. The corridor is supposed to have all the info. You know what I mean? Spas, smith. This is like a spa. Running water. This town is truly blessed. The bustling markets, the healing waters. Damn, I need a spa day or something. The aches and pains of the yeah, this is making me want to aches and pains. Now they mention it, and now they put this shit in my head. It's like, damn, I need a massage. I haven't had one like in a year. Fresh bread. Fresh bread. Once you go flat. From the oven. Yeah. What? Taste. Take a sniff, good sir. Finest fabrics. Cause all the finest fabrics. Why is the town shut? Banging. It's got to be right there in that same area. Then they're pulling me right back. Whatever. Shadows like my feet going need a massage after this con. I hear you, brother. <laughs> Trickster. <laughs> Rogue is like you got that ag arrogance, but you can back it up. 20k steps a day, damn. Once you go flat, means you. Yeah, that's what I said. Come out. Once you go flat, can't go back. That could be two things. I was like, mission fail. At the same time, what? Oh, the person was right here across the thing. Man. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Rude. Belong. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Oh, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. Don't find a finder smithy this side of the strait. The owner's only a young sprig. But he's got all the right ideas. The Briar's Kiss, you say? The Briar's Kiss, yes. I doubt this young Absolutely. sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience. Believe you me. Shut up, Uncle. Mummy, I want to play with the crystal. Mommy. How many times do I have to tell you? Who's this guy? See? Wow. This guy should think of like those hot spring spas. Like even in Naruto when they have the spa scenes, it's like, yo, the rejuvenation is chamber type of stuff. Even in Mega Man, they used to have this stuff. That would be an experience too. Healing waters. A riverboat captain. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's Fair been enough. here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. Appreciate ya. Well, it sounds like we have our man. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this Ferda knows. It just says it. Clive's got to feel like he's in a supernova with these clothes. That's what I'm saying. Like, compared to everybody else, they're dressed for the heat. Clive's wearing like armor and everything. Like realistically, Clive should be just like pure water right now. But how much are you sweating? Are you Ferda? You're shady I enough. I hope so. 
Do you know Rosina Dalamil? And what business? She was a close friend of mine. Very well. Go to the bordello. Silver That's platters. Do you too hard? Trust him. Only as far as I think. Or as he can trust us for asking questions. So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. I beg your pardon. Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business. And that's where they fucked up. <laughs> Torgal jumping in on this shit too. <laughs> Back alley loser. Back alley loser. Take that. And that. And that. Mm. Slash. Oh. More enemies. Okay. There you go. I only told them to jump in. Like, if you see this shit, even if you're just a regular ass guard, is it worth it? This dude's shooting fire or wings and stuff in the back of an alley. Ultra instinct out there by your dodge. Loser. Good fight. Good fight. Not really. Enemies busted. We're talking about SAO. He's wearing the Berserker armor. Yeah. Yo, I really want an SAO MMO with you just not playing as Kirito and just playing the game that way he was supposed to play. You know what I mean? You're alive. Did I pull a Roroni Kenshin reverse blade sword on them? That will happen. Who are you working for? Uh, uh, he wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Lord Ferda? Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with a blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty. That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Uh, yes, my lord. To the lock of leisure, then. Lock of leisure. To the lock of leisure. The lock of leisure. It's funny because they kind of just chased out all of the hookers that were back here. The back hilly hookers all disappeared. Okay. And Got me thinking about Assassin's Creed Revelations. Search. Oh, read. She'll look at you and Is this the place? Who was Forge? The Briar's Kiss. Ah, so it was the young sprig after all. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. Making some crazy demands. What's up, NJ? Ubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the Second? <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the South Gate. <laughs> Prince Ali. <sighs> Tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Intel? I trust. Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> yeah. And nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. 
I'm a busy man, as you can see. I don't want to talk to this guy. Give me a ladder. Let's leave this mama to his fuss. By yeah. all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Hmm. I like this one. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Hey, yo! Why you are this nigga gay? Because they get me what I want. Always. Fine. So what do you want? Don't Better tell not be my ass. This swaggering scruff. <laughs> we might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them, damn you! Manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My nice. apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Follow oh, the crystals. Oh, what kind of Crash Bandicoot thing is this? Too easy for me. Ha! It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Let us have the sword or my ass guts. I'd rather not drag Thank you. Marty Man says chicks there. <laughs> All right. Good luck, Uncle. <laughs> Yo, y'all throwing around guy in these terms too accurately and too often now. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. <laughs> Yo. Love to see it. I can't believe it. Excuse me. Whew. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard then. I've heard rumors. Damn thieves, pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if you buy them on the black market either. There's some of the intel. Speak with the townspeople. They really, yo, watch out for this thing. I can only imagine. The horses' carriages in New York, they be shitting on the street and all that stuff around Central Park. And then even the pigeons, they be shitting on people's cars. So you combine that, you got a mega shitter right here and it's eating right now. Still waiting on the goosey pile. <laughs> we gotta make a Discord thing with all the emotes we need to add. Coco's curse and goosey paw. Pop tart has to be added. Emote suggestions. Yeah, I gotta make one of those. And why pitches be wild? What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing? I'm not a soldier. Oh, then be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. A courtesan. Men of the rock or men of the cock? With them. Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Hey, yo. I'll be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No. He's a gold digger. I just kind of want to push her overboard. Yo, but there's water there. Move, you guys are right in the way of the view. If they pay anything like last time. Move it, dirty fanny. Let me go this way. It's not like Goku. What should we call it? Pop Tart must be coming to mope. Paul, have you ever fought a homeless person? No. I'm. You know what's crazy? Like. One was trying to flag me down today as I was going into. You guys know Wawa? 
the gas station for like Red Bulls. I was like, oh no. No, he's trying to get me to buy him alcohol or something for July 4th. Hey man. There's been some like random events I've had in real life. The first time I came to Miami, like back in 2019, I had come here and um like I said, I ran into this one homeless guy with the craziest encounter ever because this guy, he basically gave me a preview because I thought he was a loon because I was handing out free stuff that I had extra before I was about to head back. And he came up with, a, hey, there, there's spirits and stuff all around you and you can't see it. But when he used that stuff acid, you can see everything. And he was telling me all of these things about that are about to unfold in the world. And it actually all came true, to be honest. It was 2019. I remember it. And I was like back then my mind was on the like the left side of thinking where it was just pure logic and i was like yeah this guy is a little at first he was making sense that he kind of went off the deep end with the spirit stuff and then all of a sudden a year later everything started to make sense i was like holy shit this homeless guy that was carrying a cart at like 10 o'clock at night outside of a dollar tree just threw some random encounter wisdom like ooh, <laughs> you ever seen it like ever seen like in a i guess movies or in fiction where like the, the wanderer type of thing. That was the NPC I ran into. Are you looking at seagulls? There's that one clip from Facebook back in the day where these kids were at the beach and they put a bunch of Pringles and then they put a bunch of laxatives in the Pringles and then they just threw it on the beach and then the pigeons started shitting on everybody. One kid was coded in it. I think they went, they got in trouble for that though. You were talking about the water rug. It looked good. For real, for real. It was a Dragon Quest NPC telling you the future, Paul. That's what it felt like, bro. Like, you never know what you might encounter out there. Do you have a moment? Ah, baby. Let you me get a lamb. How about rice? Stay with question. Me. Is it halal? Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came Assalamu alaikum, by. brother. White sauce, hot sauce. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men on the rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well, thank you. These guys be having their Arab money. Starting to get an idea of what's been going on. They've been throwing everything around. Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. They'll probably be back at the inn by now. Yeah, they're just throwing around Arab money. Yo, I used to have the soundtrack here, but every time I would play it, we get copyrighted. Hey, rap, buddy. What happened to Busta Rhymes? Hey, it's the lady that he just gave the tip to. Yo, gotta pit my boy. I feel good, boy. Well, we just petted the air. We're only right there next to the Drake Once Fang and Mother Crystal. Furniture. I tipped you. Haven't you caused enough trouble already? Yo, give me that shit back. My pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but Thank you. The attitude. The attitude. Oh. Preposterous. Look at this nosy Nancy. Gonna be, you know, auspicious. That laxative shit was out of pocket. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna give you the sword of light. Imagine that. He whips out the sword of light here, Paul. <laughs> you gotta do that. You gotta turn us blue. You're a menace if you do that. Clive would be leaving a trail of sweat if this is real life, unless he's got the like an ice crystal from Jill or something on him. Or, I don't know. Like how? This is my frost wolf, so maybe we have some kind of special ability from smushing with Jill that probably is keeping him cool. I don't know. A, a cold crystal chakra crystal by his ball sack or something. Just cool. Hey man, that's one way to cool your temperature down. You just drop ice in your pants. That's what MMA fighters do if you guys ever notice boxes and stuff. When they get in their corners, if they're overheating, they just literally take a whole tub of ice and just dump it into their pants and they cool off immediately. I'm pretty flush these days. Where the hell was I supposed to go? I thought we were supposed to go upstairs. What, what are you, I thought we were supposed to go upstairs. You said up here. I feel Lewis requested to find Byron. Uh, 
yeah, 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 yeah. You and your Latin carpets, nobody cares. Where? It's pointing me back here. There's everybody gathered around. Why is the tavern shut? Oh, now they want to make it into a scene. We'll just follow the path. Stop talking about ice on balls. These kids. Oh, it's this door. It wasn't even marked. Will this suffice as a deposit? Is he bribing the Al Qaeda? That's a black pearl. Why, a fine chip indeed. In my collection that I would be only too happy to part with, should you give me reason to do that. All right. I'm sure but not here. What are you doing, Uncle? What kind of sustivities? Wait, what? <laughs> Whatever. Game logic, they don't get hot. Shook says, Luminary Paul, you must bring peace to the world by defeating darkness. Homeless NPC. <laughs> Yo, it was like that. Channel, cause my balls is hot. Paul Siraj, 2023 Colorado. Yo, come on, man. Or Kate supported. Bra. <laughs> Bra. Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men? Bait, my boy. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystallized sort. So the pearl was your proof. <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A small price to pay for it. But enough about my little actives. That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with them then. Just as you arranged. And put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. It just goes to show one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. I trust I can count on your support, if things turn sour. <laughs> of course. So I have to head. This way, straight to the southern Velcroy Desert. We went to the through this part, but we spawned right here. There's the northern part. Now we have to head to the southern. Damn, how big is this map? But then again, it's desert. What was all that crashing and banging about before? Crashing better. Does the uncle have a basement? Your dream of meeting a goth GF could come true. Hey, Shadow, they got a rave at the Anime Expo. And you have 14k steps in. Flat-footed shadow? Nah, bro! Gotta learn the two-step. Just do the two-step. It goes with anything. Give him a couple tequila shots to make him do the two-step. Somebody. I want to see shadow get drunk. <laughs> Next thing you know, the man's getting sturdy or something. He just sends you the best song of the anime expo. Another Spanish. Jelly ate ceviche. Are we talking about this? Maria. Maria tacos. Yeah, it's my favorite. <laughs> I, I love Maria tacos. That cuisine is quite delectable. I love my Hispanic heritage cuisine. <laughs> Viva la Mexico. <laughs> Ooh, Taco Bell is my favorite authentic Mexican cuisine. It's so spicy. Let me stop. <laughs> it's quite preposterous. 
All right. <laughs> Let me get off my chicken. We're in the middle of this desert. We know things about to go down. This looks like the gores when Mufasa died, but okay. I'll take it from here. All right, Uncle. You insult me, Paul Jelly. <laughs> Learn. Anubis like, I'm gonna go drink honey. <laughs> yeah. Blue tornado is my ancestor turning the grave. Coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution. The black pearl. All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice. You brought the whole five hundred talents. That was the price we agreed upon. Yes. If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. They're gonna rob me. Of course. Right this way, my lord. That's what they gotta be doing. They're robbing the citizens. That's why they have so much money to spend on the big booty courtesans. Whoa! Not bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? Because these crystals are no longer the property of the Republic. You're not buying from us, you're buying from them. Oh shit. And we have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But we have ships, and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing, now that our price has been met. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And, being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion, and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Walud, we are duty-bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! They're in cahoots! So it would seem. We already knew they was already trying to set me up. What is the meaning of this? My lord. Double crossing dogs. They're not here to do business. Kill them. Kill them both. Bro, we've been over this how many times? Second verse, same as first. Oh, I was supposed to hit that the right mode. Damn. Okay. Back shots, back shots, back shots, back shots. <laughs> oh, this guy got shit on. <laughs> mm. Yo. That was perfect. Yo, that guy got <laughs> back shots from <right> this. <laughs> I can't. That first two got wrecked. So much better than the electricity that I, I just gotta get that one smiting ability. But yeah. <laughs> I can't even take this fight seriously after that, bro. That first guy got wrecked. Ooh. Again, again, this is my favorite move. It's just so cartoony. That's how they be fighting in Dragon Ball Super. Yes, yes. Yo, the Titan ability is just lit. Hello. <laughs> I just kept pulling him. Wait. More is coming. Over here. This one's down. Hit the chicken. Over here. Bro, cursor. Now we're fighting the chickens. Get him. Sick him. Get him. Attack. This one. This gotta be embarrassing as hell for a royal knight. Place of the chicken a little bit. Nice, man. Best boss fight coming soon. Oh, okay. Hey, yo. Those cards don't get paid enough for the back shots. <laughs> if you put the fear of God into the enemies, it goes to Tsushima, they actually run away. It does so much for the immersion. What? This is crazy.
you slap happy today. <laughs> I'm not on anything, man. I'm just sober off of life. Well, that wasn't too bad. How'd you like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice. Don't you? He did. Great bid. You were magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. This nigga gay. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best. How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly. Buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the rock taking crystals meant for the common folk and conspiring with the royalists. Yes. Well, now it's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of address against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. Damn, there's a lot of crystals. Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. Bro, I had gone into one of those crystal shops one time and they had like the same type of layout, but they were different colored and shit. It was the same turquoise one that, that I ended up walking out with that was supposed to give you money, but at the time it didn't work. But at the same time, yo, that same crystal, right? Like that shit was right there. They'd be selling that shit. That whole inventory is like thousands. Your name. Clive. Clive. <laughs> so, Sid the Second is a Clive. <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. Why he laugh like that? You held up your end of the bargain. To tell the truth, you've helped him. I don't like talking to this guy. Play this. Just a noise move. A desert rose from Luba. Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you. And please, he gave me a brooch. feel free to send one of my stoluses back to your people. Tell them that Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. What? Hey, yo. Hedwig! Harry Potter's owl! Oh, me, I lost the land. To his Achilles. There's a chakra crystal in his forehead. Whoa, it just warped like Bran from Game of Thrones. Nice. Imagine we still use carrier pigeons. You Sid, or should I say Clive? Don't touch me. So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> On our Mike Tyson show, we sent the pigeons out. We're like, now kiss. This NPC annoyed you too. <laughs> Bought him on his back. He skipped all this shit. Out. He's annoyed as fuck. Thank you. Not at all. It was my come on, uncle. Oh, the toll was my pleasure. This, you bought a crystal, supposed to give you more money. Tornadoes, I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it. I didn't spend no money on that shit. It was given to me. I. The dumbass that brought me into the store bought it. <laughs> hold up. If I still got my wallet, right? Hold up. Hold, 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 hold. Let me see. If I still got it, I still think I might have like the card that came with it. Did I keep that shit or did I throw it out? Let me see. Let me see. I might have tossed that shit for real though. Hold up. Because it came with like this blue card that tells you what the fuck it's supposed to like bring into your life. I think I tossed it. Yeah. I was like. Because it brought me the opposite. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Forget it. I can't find it. But I remember it come with like a specific blue card. I could have read that shit. I was just seeing what the bullshit was on that. He's getting aged for the handshake. It's over, Clive. Little boy, I don't like this guy. Make for Drake's fang. Ayos mios. Men of the Rock were caught enough crystals for themselves. Yes, it was, it was. 